Hello, hello, I'm Benjamin Cello. Come on in, my very special friend. There's Lolly Popular and her cheerful chums, Professor Wordsworth and his hungry bookworms. There's Cowboy Roy and the animals too. We're so happy to be friends with you. us today, my friends. Do you know Miss Gretchen, the music teacher? She is coming over. She says she has something new to show us. I'll bet that's her right now. I just love seeing something new, don't you? Hello! Hello, hello, Benjamin Shell. Miss Gretchen, good to see you. Good to see you too. I was just telling my friends all about you. Hello, how do you do? Come in, come in. And I see you brought your mandolin. Always. Benjamin Cello, I take my music wherever I go. <gasps> <laughs> music is such a wonderful gift. It is. I always carry a song in my heart and my cello in my hand wherever I go and whenever I can. Benjamin Cello, I've got something new. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a clue. It's a riddle. I love riddles. It's a kind of animal. Hmm. Maybe a dog or a cat. Nope, it's bigger than that. Hmm, maybe a sheep or a goat. Nope, nope, it's not a sheep or a goat. Hmm, maybe a cow or a great big horse. You're on the right course, but not as big as a horse. Hmm, I see, I see. I have no idea. What could it be? They're sometimes gray with markings of black. They carry a cross across their back. Hmm, they carry a cross across their back. Short legs, long ears. They live for many years. Their sound is loud and clear. <laughs> I see, I see. It's a donkey. Isn't he beautiful? My friend made him for me. See, he carries a cross across his back, just like the riddle said. I see it, the cross across his back. He's soft and lovable and warm, just like a real donkey. I have an idea. How about we go visit Cowboy Roy at the Big Old Barn and show him your new oh, toy donkey? Cowboy Roy, I love how he plays the guitar. And you know what? I have my mandolin so I can play my new song about donkeys. I'll get my cello. We'll go through the brown door to the land of the baptized imagination, the Big Old Barn. Well, thank you, little lambkin. That's my tune, and I play it for you. Oh. I, I don't mean to be picky, Cowboy Roy, mm. but why don't you play with a pick? I hear the best guitarists play with a pick. Mm. My beak acts like a pick, you know, so I pick naturally. Well, I do play with picks sometimes. Oh. I keep one here in my back pocket just in case. Wow. 
And it seems to me that you have a natural pick right on your face. Why don't you take a strum, son, see what you're made of? Woo! Hot dog! You might have a future in this business, son. Yeah. The question is, is do you have what it takes? Because it is a chicken eat chicken world out there. Let me see the fire in your eyes, Gregory Peck. Oh. You're all right, Gregory. I think I might be better than you, Cowboy Roy. Well, let's not get carried away there, son. <laughs> Gregory Peck, mind your manners. Beg pardon, Cowboy Roy. Roosters try to rule the roost, <laughs> as they say. Hey! Oh, Gregory Peck, no need to ruffle your feathers. Hello, Cowboy Roy! Oh, oh, Gregory oh, the most marvelous oh, musical oh, marm for mom. Oh, Hello, Euphoria. Oh. And how are you, little lambkin? Salutations, Don Quixote. Hello, Benjamin Cello. And how are you, Gregory Peck? I'm in Peck, Peck, Peckable. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone say hello to my friends. Howdy. <laughs> Welcome to the big old barn. Howdy, Cowboy Roy. Howdy, Benjamin Cello. I can tell we're going to make some music here today. <gasps> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. <gasps> Cowboy Roy. <gasps> What's that? We came to show you my new toy donkey. Isn't he beautiful? Well, rooted, toot, and raspberry. That's a beautiful donkey. We wanted to see how much he looks like Don Quixote. That's right. Here, Gregory Peck, you want to take a look? Wow. Oh. Look, Lambkin. Oh. It's remarkable. It's a baby. That's right. It looks just like her own Don Quixote. So handsome. Handsome is as handsome does, and I don't see it. <laughs> well, now, donkeys are pretty amazing animals. Yep, that's right. Donkeys are strong and playful. They love playing ball together. Oh, yes. Football is our speciality. <laughs> it's the way we kick. Very powerful. <laughs> that's right. Donkeys use their strong kick to protect other animals from wolves and coyotes. Now, wow. that's courage. And strength. They have a strong body. <laughs> you are too, too generous. We donkeys are unlikely e heroes. <laughs> Our breed is distinguished in the Holy Bible by God himself. Where? In both the fifth and tenth commandment. Hmm. In that final commandment, mankind is told not to covet a neighbor's donkey. Really? This is undoubtedly an indirect reference to our popularity at the time. That's true. You know, owning a donkey back in Bible times is like owning a luxury automobile. <laughs> I've heard that donkeys love to be with their masters and become sad if they're left alone. Isn't that sweet? Oh, my! That's correct, Miss Gretchen. Donkeys are faithful, even to masters who are unkind. Like the prophet Balaam, he beat his beast of burden cruelly. But the poor donkey was quite amazing. The very first of our breed to bray in tongues. Is that not singular? God loosed his tongue, and he spoke right out in human language. Amazing! That donkey saved his master's life. On the other wing, donkeys can be very stubborn. Stubborn? Never. We are simply resolute. Well, I love donkeys so much that I wrote a song about them. And stubborn or resolute, no matter. The fact is, a donkey may or may not be as cute or cute or clever, but they will stick through thick and thin. Heart with hearty heart, devout to stout endeavor. It's just their way, I'll say again. A donkey is the best friend ever. A girl or a hitty, a Jenny or a Jack. Some folks say they're stubborn. Can you Cute or clever. I beg to 
but differ. They will stick through thick and thin. Uh, we are very loyal. A donkey is the best. A donkey is the best. Oh, how sweet. A donkey is the best friend ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, how kind of you to speak so highly of my breed. Donkeys are simple-hearted and affectionate, and we love to serve. Serve? What are you serving? Better not be fried chicken. No, Gregory Peck. He is not talking about serving a meal. Rest assured, Gregory Peck. We donkeys rejoice to serve our masters. We carry their heavy loads. Maybe that's why Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. To tell us that he came to serve, and that he wants us to serve too. It was our finest hour, carrying our Lord Jesus down the streets of Jerusalem. Who would have thought that only a short time later, he would carry his cross? Yes, remember, a donkey carries a cross across his back, just like our Lord. Isn't that amazing? That's right, Miss Gretchen. Jesus loves the meek and humble servant who's willing to bear a cross. Our Lord came not to be served, but to serve. In that way, we are kindred spirits. I am your humble servant. I will bear your load. I will walk beside you no matter how long no matter how long the road I am your humble servant I will be your friend Though the path may darken I'll go with you to the end Don Quixote, for being a humble servant. That's what we all need to be. Amen. Sure enough. We are simply following our Lord Jesus, who was the most humble servant of all. Mm -hmm. That is as it should be. Well, Don Quixote, now when I see my toy donkey, he will remind me to be a humble servant. Oh, thank you for sharing him with us. Well, sadly enough... I think we should be going. Oh, oh. don't cry, Gregory Peck. Oh, goodbye is such a sad word. Oh. cock a doo oh. Goodbye, oh. Don Quixote, our strong and humble servant. Until next time. Goodbye, you four. Goodbye, little lambkin. lambkin. 
A donkey is the best friend ever. Oh, what a wonderful day. Learning with friends is the best kind of day. As Euphoria would say. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Benjamin Cello. Goodbye, Miss Gretchen. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for showing us the new toy donkey. Anytime. Miss Gretchen and I had a wonderful time with you today. We learned a lot about donkeys, didn't we? Now I understand why Jesus chose the donkey as a sign to carry him into Jerusalem. He wanted to show us that he was coming as a humble servant. Until next time. Friends have the best time together. And no matter the weather, friends are friends for forever. It's goodbye for now till we meet again. Remember, God loves you, and so do I, and so do I, my friend. But they will stick through thick and thin. Uh, we are very loyal. A donkey.